That's still W, w Ice Spear. We're going to block the Firecracker. Oh my gosh, perfect. The Firecracker is just like looking at nothing. We're going to get tons of damage. Huge. What's up, everyone? It's Turkey here. And today we're going to be playing this double building evolution deck. That's right. Evil Tesla, Evil Mortar in the same deck. Um, I can't at all say that this deck is meta or that it's good. But what I can say is it's fun and you can absolutely outplay your opponents. And when you do, it's so satisfying. You have a really fast cycle. So you can uh, drop your little prince in the back and try and cycle Teslas and Mortars on their tower. Uh, it it kind of plays similar to Expo, and it's actually so much fun to play. So we're going to see if we can get some wins. This deck is kind of cheesy, um, but I really just I wanted I wanted the challenge. Someone suggested this in my comment section, like, oh, try Evil Mortar, Evil Tesla in the same deck. So we're going to be giving it a try. Yeah, he takes the poison. I'm going to go like this. He has Valkyrie and Knight in the same deck, which is kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, nice. We forced out the arrows there. I mean, I don't even know if he really needed that, to be completely honest. We're just cycling our mortar, trying to get to our Evo. That's unfortunate timing right there, isn't it? All good, though. All good. We're just going to let it go. So he has the Marcher, he has the Knight, he has the Valkyrie. So right off the bat, it looks like he does have a few or a reasonable answers to our Mortar. So we're going to have to try and, you know, outcycle those counters as best as we can. Okay, he takes the Poison on the Little Prince, no surprise. We do have our Evil Mortar next in hand. So we might want to make, make good use of that. I am going to cycle a Knight, and then I might go in for Evil Mortar, Tesla at the bridge, and just see if something something can happen. Maybe make some magic happen. He doesn't have a poison. We're going to go like that. Let's see what happens. Okay, he goes for the Valkyrie. We're going to Little Prince just to try and DPS that down as quickly as possible. Tesla going to help out as well. Goes for the arrows. Going to pop the ability here. And get ready. Maybe pre-log something on the Little Prince. Yep, we get the skeletons. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about with the outplay potential of this deck. Mm-hmm beautiful stuff there and somehow he has all of the answers in the world i feel like for this deck and we end up sneaking into the lead okay interesting tornado is that nine thousand trophies by the way cool nice he goes knight maybe predicting our mortar not entirely sure so we're gonna go defensive mortar just to cycle honestly because we want to get to our evil mortar and I want to maybe try and predict his magic archer. Oh, no, nah, he doesn't He doesn't do it. I'm just going to fireball it. I'll take that. Okay, it goes for, goes for arrows. So we're going to go like this and then get the mortar down. Okay. Little prince here, too. Maybe force out a spell. Force out that. We're going to Tesla on it. Establish bridge dominance is kind of what we're aiming to do. Okay. And we are going to have... Our Evo's in hand next. So we have Evo Mortar and Evo Tesla at the same time. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Poison is out of hand. Now's our time to go in. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. Okay, he has Evo Knight, so he'll probably be okay. I want to try and cycle to another Mortar, honestly. Because you want to take advantage of the fact that you have an Evo Tesla on the board. And honestly, like... I feel like this deck is just, like, annoying. Like, you want to try and annoy your opponents more than anything. Um, but, like, low-key, it works. We're back to another Tezzy. Goes for that. Fireball on the Marcher. Alright, that was fun. That was fun. I know he's feeling the heat. <laughs> yeah, this deck is honestly just ridiculous. I'm going to go for a Defensive Mortar. At this point, I think he really only wins with, like, a Magic Archer connection or something like that. So... We're going to try not to give him a Marcher connection. I don't even know what his win condition is. Okay, we need to watch out for the Marcher. There it is. That's not at all going to hit the tower, though. And we are back to this. And we're back to an Evo Tesla. So we're going to go Evo Tesla high. We do catch the cannon. That's huge. We're going to go in for... Mm, we can't quite go in for another Mortar. So we're going to Little Prince and get our Knight down. Okay, he goes for the arrows there. I don't know if I agree. Just being an absolute menace. Kind of looks like we're playing Clash of Clans. And look, we're ready back to another Mortar. Nice. And at this point, 
doesn't have enough damage to win, so we're just gonna cycle a fireball. And that's a good game. Um, honestly, I feel like they could have played that a lot better, like with the Magic Archer, like if they would have just played that on the Mortar, it would have been a good answer, but a win is a win. So good first game with our crazy deck. We'll go ahead and catch you in the next one. Okay, into our next match against H2O Do. H2 Do, H2O Do, Water Do, I don't know. I'm gonna open up with the Mortar. I'm just trying to cycle to our Evos, you know. Don't expect anything out of it. My Mortar is, is two levels too low, but that's an even trade. And we are cycling to our Evos. I'm gonna cycle an Ice Spirit here, then a little Prince in the back. Looks like, whenever I see Baby Dragon, I think Graveyard, but I don't think that's the case. I'm gonna protect our Tesla here, and our little Prince. Goes for the Nato there. Yeah, I don't really know if he needed that, to be honest. We're gonna go with the Mortar. Our little Prince is allowing us to cycle cards very quickly. And we actually get a connection that those guards weren't very good. We can just log an Ice Spirit on them, and we got a lock. Our first lock of the game, let's go, baby. We, even, we didn't even need our Evil Mortar. Nice. So like I said, this deck is kind of similar to Expo, where you can go Mortar and protect it with your Tesla. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're going to go Tesla here for the Balloon. Meanwhile, our Mortar does significant damage to their tower. Beautiful. Mm, I'm going to chill. I'm going to wait to go in for my Mortar when I have my Tesla next in hand. So, so, so far, so good. We know that he has a Nato, a Baby Dragon, a Giant Skeleton. It could be like a weird clone deck. I'm going to cycle my Knight here. Okay, we don't catch the Binary, but this is going to get cleaned up very easily. And I'm... No, I'm not. Okay. He has Giant Skeleton in hand. We have our Evil Mortar and our Evil Tesla all in cycle at the same time. So, we're going to go like this. And we're going to Evo Mortar, like, away, but where we'll still be able to pull the Giant Skeleton away. And that's a lock. Huge lock. Evo Tesla going in. Going in. Evo Tesla doing its thing. Evo Mortar doing its thing. And that's a lock, baby. Too easy. He thinks we used both our buildings? No, sir. No, sir, we didn't. Oh, Evo Mortar going to work. And guess what? We're back to another Mortar right off the bat. But that is pretty much going to be into spell cycle range, so... Low-key, we're chilling. <laughs> this guy's deck is crazy. I mean, our deck is crazy. We can kind of just get away with doing whatever we want. He goes for the Tesla. Okay. Reasonable play. We need to cycle to a Mortar here to pull the Balloon. Mm, yeah, I'm going to evil Tesla as well. Fireball does 274, so I think we're going to be able to fireball to end the game. I'm going to pull everything over to our Evo Tesla. We're going to get an Evo, an Evo Mortar down, just kind of like to flex on him, you know what I mean? And we're going to fireball and clean up this game. So good game against Balloon. I will say Balloon is probably one of the better matchups that you can face with this deck. But hey, a win's a win. So that's a good game. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next game here against Icarus. Maybe he f flew too close to the sun. If you don't get that reference, no worries. The okay, E-Golem, probably not great. Oh god, he's just gonna ignore everything. Okay, no. We're gonna get a lock and a King Tower activation, so that this is huge. Not to be unspoken. Nice, nice, and he goes in for the arrows. Typical E-Golem player, no idea what he's doing. Nice, huge, 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 huge. Nice. We're going to have a nice little elixir influx here. And I'm tempted to go in for the mortar. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to. I will go for a defensive mortar just to pull it all in. Little Prince still surviving, by the way. It is under leveled, but it can still do some things. I don't know about if the if defensive eagle was the move, to be honest, for my, my guy there. Okay. We sneak off to an early lead here against a somewhat difficult matchup. We'll have our knight ready in case they go for the arrows. Nice, like that. Now we are going to buckle up here. Ooh, well played actually. But that's all gone now, <laughs> so it's fine. Mortar lock. Mortar lock, we're gonna have our Tesla ready. Just DPS this down as quickly as possible. Just enjoy the fruits of our, of our mortar lock labor. And guess what? We're back to another mortar! <laughs> oh, 
That's what I'm telling you. This deck is diabolical. We're going to block here and then reset the E-Wiz just to get it off the map. And get a Border Lock. Tesla here is going to clean up this Mini P.E.K.K.A. I believe. Yep. Beautiful. Look at this E-Golem player, man. Can't even do anything. Okay, Double Elixir might be a little tricky. We might want to play a little more defensive. Or not. Just depends. Yeah, yuck it. Yuck it. We are playing this crazy deck. We're going to go in here. Wow. Sparky almost getting reset by the Tesla, but not quite. Okay, we're already back to another Tezzy. Log will take care of Sparky as well. Almost take care of Sparky. Almost take care of Sparky. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's try not to get overwhelmed here. Perfect. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to Ice Spirit to reset the Sparky. Perfect. Sparky got reset. And it's taken care of. So I feel like this is how the match should have gone originally. Spam the bridge. Spam the bridge. Fireball here on the Sparky. And a log as well. Little Prince is making my cycle very, very fast. We're going to go for a defensive Tesla now. And at this point, the game is already over. Yep. We're just going to cycle a log here. Cycle a Little Prince. Pull everything to the middle. Two. One. Night high. Log. Fireball on the cracker, hopefully. Unless we miss. Which could happen. Like this. Tesla here to reset everything. And, um, you know, it works. I don't know. I probably didn't, didn't play that perfectly, but we did what we needed to do. We got a big lock in the middle of the game and clutched up against Elixir Golem. So GG's to our opponent. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next game here. Hoping that we can run against a deck that doesn't have Earthquake. Last two games, I've gone against Hog EQ. Which is not good for this deck, nor is it good for my mental health, so... <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to play against that deck. We'll see. It goes for the Cracker. Looking like it might be... Hog Earthquake. Possibly, which would, like I said, suck. But we'll see, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Okay, our Mortar's on their Mortar. We can kind of distract here. Okay. Okay, did we, did we, did we cook? No, it goes for the fireball. But that's one mortar shot. And it looks like, even though they have the firecracker, it might not be Hog Earthquake, and we activated our King Tower. So I would I would write that off as a pretty decent start. I'm content with that. But now what? <clears throat> We're getting a little prince in the back here. Hmm. Might just ignore that. And eat like a teeny bit of damage. Ice Spirit here, maybe for the Inferno Drag? Nope, oh, okay. Okay, he spends a lot. So I don't really mind. We're gonna kite this back with the Knight. Or at least try to, I should say. Okay. We get those off the board. Nice, that's a lock. Huge lock. He might go wall breakers here. Maybe we can catch him with an ice spirit. There we go. There we go. We get it. We did it. That's a huge start. Evil Mortar just going to town. My man absolutely defeated. Huge start. So at this point, only a minute left in the game. I think we just got to set up defense. They might have even given up the fact that they haven't played anything up to this point. Excuse me. Don't you Okay. Looks like they gave up. We're going to fast forward to the three crown and we'll catch y'all in the next one. And we got the three crown, so good game once again. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Angel, or Angel, I guess, depending on their culture. We're fortunate enough to have our mortar in our starting hand, our level 13 mortar. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay, we get it. He spent a lot, though. We only spent four elixir. They spent earthquake and Valkyrie, so I'm good with that. Maybe have a baby counter push or something. All right, Ice Spirit in front. 
And I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that go. I would actually kind of like if that firecracker crosses the bridge, I can get a King Tower activation. I'm ready for the Hog Rider. There she blows. We're gonna take one shot from the Cracker. Maybe they're going for an Earthquake here. I would like that. Mm, they're not going to. I was really, really hoping they'd go in for the Earthquake. Then we could go in for a Mortar and you would just do so much work. Valkyrie, I expect to come down. Perfect, okay. Well, maybe not perfect, but as we anticipated. We really want to be able, like, to defend the Hog Rider without, um, or defend the Hog Rider, force out the EQ, and then go in for our Mortar. That's what we really want. Because going in for the Mortar when they have the Earthquake in hand is, like, not very good. Okay. Here comes the Hog, test on the middle. Maybe the Earthquake will come down now. There, there it goes, so. No EQ in hand, we're gonna go for the Mortar. I expect the Valkyrie to come down. Okay, Tesla. Decent Ice Spirit, though. <laughs> Level 13 Mortar has, like, no HP. Okay, rip. <laughs> That's uh, frustrating. And he's going to Valkyrie on this. We're not going to get anything. But uh, we did our best. And it's winnable. I mean, this is one of the worst matchups, but you only really need, like, one crazy push to bring it back. Evil Tesla going to carry us here. Unfortunately, we won't have it on offense, but it carried us on defense. We have Fireball for the Evo Cracker as well, if he chooses to drop that in the back. Gonna cycle a log. Cycle a knight. And I'm ready. I know he has I know he has the evolved firecracker in hand. We just gotta get ready for it. Goes for the Valkyrie. Yeah, we're not gonna get anything out of that, unfortunately. There's the cracker. Okay, I thought we missed for a second and I would have cried. Our cycle's quick, though. When we have the little prince down, it, it is very, very fast. So we have that going for us. He's cycling back to an EQ, but guess what? We're already back to another mortar. So we're going to try and pull the Valkyrie out of the range here. And then maybe try and get a mortar lock. I think we might have. No, we missed the cracker. We missed the firecracker. We finally got the mortar lock and we missed the firecracker. Oh, no. Oh man, this matchup's so bad. Oh. Okay, we're not gonna give up though, because he keeps playing like really bad Teslas. Like when I'm running mortar, like I don't understand. Don't you know who I am? And he plays the Valkyrie in the back. I gotta work on my fireballs, man. I really do. He doesn't have Earthquake in hand, so this defense is like pretty free. And it's like not over yet, but it's just not looking good. Like very, very difficult for us to get damage. I'll probably just earthquake this, I feel. Mm, no, he doesn't. Alright, little prince maybe gonna do something. Probably not though. <laughs> little prince doing his best. Ice spear here to make sure the hog that the hog gets no hits. Oh man. Yeah, triple elixir. I, I can't. I can't say that we're gonna be able to do anything, but we're gonna drop our little prince in the back, take the fireball on the cracker. Evo Tesla is in hand. Maybe he'll go for an EQ. No, he does not go for an EQ. Wisely, I might add. We're gonna go like this, and then get our Tesla down. Again, trying to force out an earthquake. No, that was supposed to be fireball. Come on, give it to me. Two Teslas down. Gonna go to work. Tesla's trying. Okay, EQ comes down. We're gonna get our other mortar down. Oh, you can Valkyrie on it though, probably. I got nothing. Mm. Oh, we almost speed Hog Earthquake. Good game, honestly. That's, uh, I usually get destroyed in that matchup, so. We did our best. Hope you don't face that matchup if you're trying this deck, but uh, we'll take the loss and we'll move on to the next one. See you there. All right, into likely our last game of the video. So far, so good. Um, I will say this deck is very challenging. So if you're up for a challenge, if you're up for something silly to just kind of mess around with, uh, this deck is awesome for that. Okay, he spends a lot there, so I'm fine. 
So he spent a lot there, so I'm I'm all good here. His little prince is level 13 as well, so me and him can relate. Log here will help out with the barrel and it will reset the fire rate of the little prince. So I'm golden. Looks like it might be minor poison bats, I think. Goblin cage comes down. It's actually a decent response to the mortar, so glad that that is out of hand here. We're gonna do a little bit of split lane pressure. Horrible timing, but that's okay. Okay, Mega Knight comes down. Okay, we do get a little bit of damage there. Not much, but a little bit. And a small little mortar lock. I also anticipate we're gonna get our King Tower activated here with the Firecracker, so life could be worse. Okay, we're gonna go into three of them mortar here. And pop the ability on the other side. Get this log off. We have our, our uh, ice spear ready for bats. Where are the bats? Where are the bats? Oh, I was I thought for sure he was gonna play bats. Still W W Ice Spear. We're gonna block the firecracker. Oh my gosh, perfect. The firecracker is just like looking at nothing, and we're gonna get tons of damage. Huge. Huge play. Huge sequence even. Nice. Nice. Mortar lock. We'll take a mortar lock all day. Two shots. Two shots. Okay. I anticipate that they're going to make an item on this, so I'm just going to let it breathe. We'll see. Yep, there. The Arshi blows. Their favorite move to do. We're going to go for defensive mortar here. Then pull everything in. We're back to another Tezzy. Okay, this matchup is actually like pretty reasonable in my opinion compared to some others. Okay. We're gonna go like this. Oh, he spent. He spent on that uh, little prince ability. Okay. He kind of panics and goes for those arrows, so that's awesome for us. And Evo Tesla is still alive. <laughs> Not for long, though, eh? Ice Spirit here for the bats. I think I missed the firecracker. Ew! Oh no! Okay, skeleton's here for the cracker. You misplaced them, but it doesn't matter. This is our game. Yeah. Wow, doubles down on blocking the bridge. Okay, bats here are scary, but not that scary. I don't know if he has a big spell in this deck. He might not, honestly. Still don't need to play my log, so I'm okay. Cracker comes down. It's going to look weird, but I'm going to go like this, so that way I can get just a singular log off. Exactly. Evil Mortar here. Okay, test the high. Oh no, 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 no. I thought the cracker was gonna, gonna be going down. We have lots of building downs. I think that's a Mortar Lock. And that's going to be a good game. Let's go. We beat Mega Knight with our Dubbo Evo building deck. So that's a good game. We'll catch you in the next one. That's going to do it for today's video. I had a lot of fun playing this deck. Here it is one more time if you want to give it a try and challenge yourself again. Evo Mortar, Evo Tesla. It's a lot of fun. Definitely not the strongest deck in the meta, especially if you're going up against Hog EQ. But I promise if you give this deck a try, you'll have a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in another video real soon.